Hi everybody, George Donnelly here. Yeah, I'm gonna be doing these video blogs more often because I'm feeling ornery. Uh, this week I wanna talk about uh, Galt's Gulch Chile, Chile, which was a, uh, a community development, housing development project um, started by uh, Jeff Berwick of the Dollar Vigilante and some other guy. And this week we found out after, uh, I guess, a couple of years of it being worked on that it's um, a bit of a disaster. And um, this can happen to any project. Any project can fail. I've had my share of projects fail, though as far as I know, I haven't taken any, but anyone's money. If you think I have, let me know. Uh, I'll make that right. But I don't think so. But uh, I don't want to make this, you know, a drama thing about anybody, much less Jeff in particular, who I'm sure is a fine individual. Um, but I want to say that, um, you know, you should look into this so you can understand how these things can go wrong. And especially I found Jeff, Jeff, Jeff Berwick's post about this on um, his website to be troubling. Because basically it's him evading responsibility for what happened right, left and center. And that feeds into a couple different things that I like to talk about, most notably reputation and leadership. First of all, if you're involved with the project, you have your name on it. You can't later on say, well, I don't know. I just kind of let him run with it and I didn't know what was going on. And um, I don't know. And then he cut me out and I guess I'm not involved anymore. So I'm a third party now. Sorry, <laughs> that doesn't cut it, man. This is where reputation comes in. If you pretend to be a business person or even just a regular individual, um, you know, you have to take care of your rep reputation. And this is something that, uh, for example, with all that Kokesh nonsense uh, last year that I, I, you know, observers will, will, will know that I take very seriously. I'm not going to let people lie about me or sm uh, smear my reputation, nor should you, because your future success depends on it. And uh, also, it is kind of an anarchistic accountability thing going on there. Because if you uh, are irresponsible and people uh, lose money or uh, you just look kind of foolish, well, that's going to influence people's opinion of you and whether they want to do business with you, give you money or whatever in the future. That is a prime vector of accountability in a stateless society. So take care of your reputation. And another thing, and this uh, relates to one of my favorite topics, which is the Free State Project. I kind of fell into this conversation today where somebody was saying, uh, actually someone who's uh, very high up in the Free State Project Incorporated, uh, and you would recognize this person's name if you know anything about the Free State Project, who basically said, Gold's Gold's Chili was a scam and it was a get free quick scheme and I hate these. And basically the only legitimate one out there is the Free State Project. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I've had my, um, that's just ridiculous, first of all, okay? Uh, New Hampshire is not the only place in the world where you can go to have a little bit of extra freedom. They don't have a monopoly on, on projects uh, of that kind. There's the startup cities, there's seasteading, there's the Blue Ridge Liberty Project, and there are other things that are going to start up. And there are other areas of the world where there's even more freedom than what you'll find in the United States. So, um, and anyway, Gulch Gulch Chili was not a get free quick scheme. Anyway, but my, my, the point I want to get to is leadership. Um, when you're involved in something, when you want to start a project, you can't just sit back and say, Oh, we'll just let everybody do whatever they want. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you can, but it's sure to end in disaster. Everything needs leadership. Now, leadership is not, oh, I'm the president and I'm going to give orders. That's not leadership. Leadership is serving other people. Leadership is f taking responsibility and being accountable. It's following things up. It's if somebody has a bad experience, that you're like, I'm sorry that happened and let's see if we can fix that, you know? That if somebody criticizes you, you're there and you're like, uh, okay, if this is legitimate and constructive, then you're like, okay, um, well, thanks for sharing that. And not, hey, let's gang up on this guy and assassinate his character. Um, so, uh, 
Yeah, so when you're thinking about whether to buy into a place like Galt's Gulch Chili, and there's actually another one in Chile administered by a guy I know, and it's passed my initial smell test uh, when Galt's Gulch Chili didn't, uh, called Freedom Orchard. You can look that up. Uh, I think it's freedomorchard.com um, if you're interested in that. But, uh, you know, just because there's a there's a Free State Project or a Gold Gulch Chile or this other Liberty Project doesn't mean that those are the only options open. And it doesn't mean that just because it's an ostensibly libertarian project or libertarians are involved that you can trust it. In fact, you should probably, you know, turn up the dial on your sniff meter there. Um, because, uh, you know, as we've seen recently, there's been bullshit going on in the Free State Project, uh, incorporated. Stefan Molyneux using copyright, uh, to get his way. Uh, Jeff Berwick and this, what I would consider gross irresponsibility. Um, what else? Kokesh and the lack of transparency last year. Um... And there have been other things as well. Other things that even people haven't talked about and they've told me about personally. So, you know, you know, you know, if you want more freedom, you don't have those, you know, the options that are on the table are not the only ones. There is a lot of freedom out there. We think sometimes that, that we train ourselves to think that the collapse is coming, they're going to steal our gold, they're going to take our guns. Um, and, you know, it's prison planet out there, but it's not. Uh, there are a lot of options out there. And think about what's right for you. Don't just think about what's right, um, you know, what's the hottest libertarian option in the moment. But what's right for you, you know. And really test it out, you know, and look at it carefully before you commit. Because, uh, bottom line, you can have freedom anywhere. And also, bottom line, none of us, none of us are testing uh, all of, uh, you know, the outer edges of the liberty that we have available to us uh, right now. So that, that's my, my um, uh, rambling uh, video blog for this week. Thanks.